Hello guys, I uh, hope you like this layout of the video, just something a bit different to normal. And um, yeah, I wanted to show you how this tank's doing. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, added the fish in and it's been up and running now for almost a month, I'd say, yeah, since uh, I escaped this tank. Um, and it's going really well, it's looking great. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of maintenance since I first set it up. Uh, it's overdue on a water change. I'll be the first to say that um, but I'm really enjoying it so what I did is really slowly introduce those fish over the course of uh, four weeks since making the tank and um, yeah everything's worked out perfectly I'm really enjoying it um, the filter although it's a bit noisy at the moment because the water levels dropped it's working great and I really like the fact that it's putting a lot of uh, agitation to the surface of the water and bubbles down into the tank is a really nice feature and the lights doing a great job okay so for those of you that don't know this is a Fluval Aqua Sky uh, I think this is the first edition uh, so I control it using a little remote and they do now have a second edition out which is controlled by a Bluetooth and you can control it by uh, a smart device like a tablet or your phone uh, really great light for growing plants and I've had no visible algae at all in this tank which uh, might have been helped by the fact I have a very small but nonetheless beautiful uh, little gold bristlenose pleco. Okay he's uh, very elusive very shy uh, but I did manage to get some footage uh, which hopefully you saw of him earlier and he spends most of the day hiding and I think he, spends, he comes out at night and comes out on occasion when I'm feeding and he'll clean the tank, eat the algae, great little fish. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So the fish I've got in there at the moment, uh, I've got one Bolivian ram, as you can see here. Uh, he's currently a small guy. Uh, he's got quite a bit of growing to do. Uh, I decided to go for just a single ram because from my research, I looked up that if you were to get a group or even two and out of that group, uh, you'd you have two rams pair up uh, this could then spell disaster for some of the other tank mates in that tank as the pair then become really aggressive and territorial as they're breeding and protecting their eggs so what I thought I'd do is just get the one and from my research hopefully this one guy when he grows up he should continue to be quite a nice uh, non-aggressive community fish and I'm really enjoying uh, keeping this Bolivian ram um, he's been a great addition to the tank. He's uh, very interesting to watch. You can tell he's got a lot of intelligence in the way he moves in the water. And it's actually my first fish that is technically a cichlid, although a dwarf cichlid. He's still a yeah, really great addition. And in terms of, I wanted a small schooling fish. I was thinking originally ember tetras, uh, but from my research online, they said if you're keeping a Bolivian ram, it's best to go with some tetras that are slightly larger, just in case that when your Bolivian ram grows up, uh, he's not gonna try and snack on any of those small tetras. So I went for these um, silver tip tetras, and I think they look absolutely stunning. Uh, really nice goldy, yellowy color to them with those really bright, vibrant, obvious silver tips to the tail. And they look great, really active, really fun fish to have, and I'm really enjoying them. Uh, unfortunately I did start off with six and this tank not having a lid on it I accidentally sadly lost one uh, jumped out uh, only after having it for a few days so what I've done now is it's off for this video but I have constructed a lid for this tank to ensure that, that doesn't happen again and as well uh, my most recent addition are these stir by Corys. okay so I've just got three of them they're a nice little group uh, I really like the sort of goldy, orangey uh, fins that they have and a really nice addition to the tank I think. So everything's doing great, um, just shows what you can do on a budget, uh, I mean this filter, this is a filter by All Pond Solutions, a hang on the back filter, cost me I think no more than £15 and the tank I bought second hand. Uh, for 30 pounds and that included the heater which I've got on the back there and I went to a local garden center a few weeks after setting up this tank and I found this stand um, so the white stand you've seen in the video before this and 
it was just on special offer, it was an X display and they wanted £25 for it and it's gloss white, nothing wrong with it. So I thought, well, that's perfect. You know, rather than have it on my drawers, let's set it up on a stand. So if you keep your ears open and keep a lookout for good deals, you can definitely find a way of setting up a beautiful planted aquascape tank like this one at home for a fraction of the cost of some of those high-end products on the market. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, you've enjoyed the update. Uh, you can really see the plants are starting to take off, the moss especially has done a lot of growing and the java fern is getting there, it'll be a few more weeks, probably uh, two more months until I start to see a sort of explosion of growth, but uh, yeah I'm really enjoying this tank. So let me know down in the comments what you guys have thought of this sort of update video, um, I hope you like this change of the layout, uh, just for this video I thought it'd be great just to introduce uh, these new fish to you guys and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video so if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button and just a reminder I am on Instagram Alistair underscore aquatics so be sure to follow me there as well and until next time guys it's bye for now